Hi, it's uh, John Booker, the editor of BC Business Online. Skull, shank, three jack, chili dip, flop, gimme. Sometimes when golfers speak, it sounds as though aliens are speaking. Well, we're here today at University Golf Club to take some of the mystery out of golf terminology for you. I'm going to get things started by letting the big dog eat from the tiger tees. The shank shot is one of the most feared shots in all of golf. Usually when you hit a golf ball, what you're trying to do is hit it here on the face of the club. With a shank, what you do is hit it here off the hosel of the club. It makes a really ugly sound and it's a terrible thing for your emotions. I never want you to do it on the golf course, but I'm going to show you how to do it right here. No golfer is really sure where the term chili dip comes from. It could be from nacho chips, it could be from chili, it could be from the country chili, and it could be from a range of other things. All you know is you never want to do it on the course. What a chili dip entails, <clears throat> what a chili dip entails is hitting into the ground behind the ball and flopping a piece of dirt over the ball. I'm gonna try and do that for you now. <laughs> oh. Well, that's a partial chili dip. Uh, very often when you're on the golf course, you won't hit the ball very well. You'll only get a little bit of contact with the club and the ball will run very quickly and very low to the ground. Now we have a name for this. It's called worm burner. <laughs> it's called worm burner and I'm going to show it to you here. That actually was a bit more of a shank. Sometimes, when you're attempting to do a flop shot, what you'll do instead is a skull. Skull is a very ugly shot, and it means that you've hit the golf ball about halfway up the ball, halfway up the skull of the ball with the edge of your club. It's a very low, flat, and running shot, something like this. That's a skull. One of the times you'll see golfers on the golf course turn as red as my shirt is now is when they perform the dreaded three jack. Now the three jack, as you might guess, is three strokes on the green. Here's an example. This is a par five. If I make this putt, I get a birdie four. So I'm pretty excited to try to make this putt. Let's see what happens. Okay, so a little bit long on my initial putt. That means if I make this putt coming back, I get my par. I've just three jack. Actually, I haven't yet three jack. I still need to make this one. Three jack. I go from birdie to bogey. Every golfer hates it. Now, many people play a friendly game of golf with uh, their friends on the weekend. One thing you can ask for, but you might not always get, is a gimme. A gimme is a putt, something like this. Pretty close to the hole, but still missable. Usually, for a putt to be a gimme, it has to be inside the leather. That means closer to the hole than the leather on your golf club. Let's take a look at this one. Yep, inside the leather. Will you give it to me? Sorry, John, you gotta putt that out. I'm gonna have to putt it out. I have cheap friends. And I made the putt. <laughs> and now, the reverse angle. <laughs> that re-tee it, that was the problem.